everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's monthly guidance message for August. In this message, Virgo, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this month. We're going to see what's working in your favor, where to focus your energy. I'll look into anything that's hidden and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box. So, Virgo, let's dive in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this month. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? Virgo, you have the world, the king of swords, and the nine of pentacles. It's almost as if you're seeing something very clearly, seeing something for exactly what it is. And this is allowing you to make a decision that you need to make for yourself and your own personal growth moving forward. Now I feel here, Virgo, that there is an energy of betrayal, a sense of like, and maybe not like a betrayal, like a love interest betrayal, but more of a sneaking, deceptive type of betrayal. Okay, this could be a friendship. This could be a family member. Okay. But I definitely feel like what energy is coming out and surrounding you this month, Virgo, is the energy of seeing this very clearly. Okay, looking at the situation very clearly, very practically moving forward now what's working in your favor is this change in perspective on this connection or on this person so it's almost as if you've accepted this person for how they are and moving forward making the decision the term determination of how to position this person in your life now let's clarify before we move forward if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here by clarifying the world, the King of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles for Virgo's energy. Please and thank you, Spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? Now, this could be something that's ended, but I feel like this definitely was like shocking news or was like something was hidden and you didn't expect this from this particular person. But now that you see things for what it is, you're just accepting and moving forward. Let's clarify the hanged man, seven of swords, high priestess energy. So freeing yourself from this situation, moving forward and not looking back, okay? What I feel here, Virgo, and, and doesn't necessarily mean you're freeing yourself from this connection. Because, for instance, if this is a family member, you can't really cut that person off indefinitely. But you can distance yourself. You can learn how to deal with this person in, in the right manner. And I feel like that's what's coming out here in the reading, now, where to focus your energy, Virgo, the positive movement forward, okay, focusing on the future, focus on putting this situation in the past. I feel here, Virgo, for this month of August, things are going to start turning very quickly for you. Things are going to start looking up, okay? I feel that once you decide to accept this person for how they truly are, it's going to become easier to handle this challenge. Now what's hidden here, Virgo, Ace of Swords, Lovers with Ace or Eight 
of wands, sorry. So Virgo, the decision has been made to move forward. I feel like you're going to be communicating this to this person. There's going to be some form of communication on moving forward. Now, for those of you that this is a friend or a family member, okay, accepting this person how they are in your life and moving forward. Okay, I feel here, Virgo, for those of you that this is a love connection, it's almost as if you feel an intense connection with this person and you know this isn't the last time that you're going to deal with them, but right now I feel like you're keeping your distance. And that's the energy that's coming out for the family member friend too. It's like you're still knowing that you're going to have to deal with this person, but keeping your distance at the same token. Let's clarify the nine of swords, the eight of cups, the wheel of fortune. So there's definitely money involved in this situation. Once you decide to put this person in the particular position in your life, once you decide to accept this for what it is, you're going to start stabilizing out. What I feel is coming out, Virgo, is there's something that this person, some tie that you still have to this person. And I feel like it's going to be better for you to work through this challenge than it is to distance yourself from them. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords, the Lovers with the Eight of Wands. Because there is a conversation that needs to be had between you and this person. Are you going to be able to discuss those hurtful feelings, right? Not only talking about you know, what this person did to you, what you did to them, but kind of accepting this process of, I feel here, Virgo, you both have a different perspective on what happened when you guys had disconnected. Ultimately, this person is trying to come back around, trying to work together. This is what's causing you a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, is this decision of, should I work with this person, continue to work th with this person, or should I distance myself from this situation? And what I feel like is coming out, Virgo, is there is a significant lesson to be learned from this person. Um, working through this challenge is going to help you to learn that lesson more quickly. The outcome. The Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. So a lot of pentacles coming out for some reason. I feel like that for some of you, this may be a business venture work related, but for the most part, I'm picking up a family friend type of a vibe. Okay. What I see here, Virgo, in the outcome, it, go, it can go both ways. Ace of Pentacles or the Five of Pentacles, right? I feel what's coming up mostly with the Ten of Cups is there is this connection that you have with this person that you're willing to work through this that you're willing to accept some things that they've done and push this under the rug and move forward so the advice moving forward here Virgo before we clarify mm -hmm. so focus on your own stability your own happiness I do feel like you and this person are moving into a calmer space or will be moving into a calmer space in the future um, but when this person comes back around for a conversation I definitely feel like there's still some past emotions that you and this person are needing to talk about to get closure on however that's resonating however that's going to transpire Okay, so understanding Virgo that when this person comes back in this month, you're going to be able to use this situation here for closure on that, those hurt emotions, okay, on that past situation that maybe wasn't the greatest experience, okay. I definitely feel like there was a challenge you had to overcome with this particular person and there is a need to get this off your chest. Let's clarify the Six of Swords, the Ace of Cups here. Yep. 
it's time to focus on your own stability, your own happiness here, Virgo, and stop looking back on the past so much. I understand that there are some sensitive situations out there where you're never wanting to entertain this particular person again, but for the most part, this reading is channeling an energy of coming together, working together, okay? Let's look at the situation from both perspectives. Try and put yourself in this person's shoes and see how they would feel in this scenario. Not to, not to apologize or anything like that, but just to empathize with their position. Let's pull a blessing message out to sum up your reading, Virgo. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I listen with love to my body's messages. My body is always working toward optimal health. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy and whole and complete. I listen with love to my body's messages. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.